Welcome to John Coleman and I embracing the boom with Bill Jordan. <laughs> hey, Bill, hey you old boomer, you. Hey, guys, good to have you. Good, good to be you, back with you. Now, Bill, you know what he's talking about, and I know what he's talking about, but not everybody knows that we all embrace the boom. Yeah, embracing the boom is, uh, this came to me a few years ago. I've always liked uh, motivational quotes and stuff like that, and I just started yeah. cobbling them together. And I thought that, you know, even though I am a baby boomer, hence the the boom, that's what that's about. Uh, just basic principles in life and some of the cliches we grew up with. I don't know if we really analyzed them and thought about them uh, a little more deeply as we should, I think. And um, I just think that it's a good time to live our life and forget our age and embrace the boom. People, Too many people my age, I notice, are, are bemoaning the fact. And it's not easy yeah. getting older. There's definitely challenges. <clears throat> But there's a lot of positives, too. Yeah. And I think that's this is a time attitudinally, and everything starts up here, is to embrace it and make the most of what we've got left. Yeah. And that's that's why I love talking with you, because you have taken some great um, shibboleths, some great ideas, and put them into a book, your 15 best practices, which, oh. hold on. We got our, hold on. Got our book. Right. There you another go. another, <laughs> another <laughs> shameless plug. Another shameless plug. I like to line up with like the book. Half, <clears throat> the halfway look. You like that look? Does this yeah. work? <laughs> Does this work? Whatever, so, whatever you do works, Art, really. But anyway, the book is available at Amazon. Thank you for allowing me to uh, to plug that. And you can read this book <clears throat> in less than an hour. Oh, you right? don't want to do that. You want to you want to well, read it like every day, right. read a chapter. <clears throat> um, well, you can read it from stem to stern if you want, but I sure. read a practice. I call them practices because we'll never perfect it because we're humans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just life lessons along the way that, <clears throat> excuse me, something about recording with you guys, I, my throat goes nuts. <laughs> um, it's, just, it's just life lessons, stuff to think about that all yeah. through our life. And I just pick up and read one every day, and then I focus on that one that day. Or... One may be a theme for a few weeks or something yeah. that I know that I need to work on. Well, in the past, we've, we have uh, talked about these as uh, kind of uh, New Year's resolutions, go through them. And we've, we've talked about all of them, I think, at one time or another. Right. But um, do you have one for today? Yeah, one that it's kind of a, a, an overarching theme for 2024 for me, and that is keep it simple. That's a good one. I am looking to pare down. Two big words that are driving me this year. One is more, which sounds odd when you say you want to keep it simple, but I want to express and practice more gratitude ah. in my life, which coincidentally is practice number one, have that <laughs> attitude of gratitude. Um, but yeah, an attitude of gratitude. I mean, there is always something. We've, we've had a tough go of it with some with some uh, stuff around here, uh, family stuff. But there's always something for which to be thankful. And I find that uh, the more that you are grateful, you will have more things for which to be grateful. Yeah. So I want this year, I want to have more, exhibit more and practice more gratitude. And I want less and fewer things, stuff, commitments, um, just to simplify my life. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I think that's really, really important. The keeping it simple, the decluttering, uh, we've just got stuff. And now at this age, and we may have talked about this before, I'm, I'm very mindful of, you know, I, I like to think I'm a, around till I'm 90, but the day is going to come when my daughter is going to have to sift through all my stuff. Well, if I can take the mindset now that let's pretend we're moving, what do I need? What do I don't need? I just got a lot of stuff, knickknacks, yep. you know, clothes I don't wear and stuff. Just so we donate it. We just try to donate it. So yeah. a little bit, little bit at a time. And I will get to this stage of well, maybe being decluttered, but decluttered also is in our thinking. Yeah. You know? That's you the most important part of keep it simple. Declutter, declutter your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe declutter your thoughts, and that's really good. But decluttering your garage is the one that gets the oohs and the ahs, because somebody can't <laughs> look at you and say, hey, your brain has a lot of space in it now. Boy, did you clutter. But 
when you when you take two or three trips to the dump and somebody says, Where did you get a garage? That's a nice feeling. That's uh, that's uh, that's on the agenda too. The garage is a big project. I'm right now talking to you guys from our bonus room over our garage. Mm. Uh, I used to be able to shoot pool in here, but two steps away from me is a beautiful eight foot pool table, olive green felt, the wood we wanted, the pockets we designed. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's got scrapbooks on it, books, yeah. uh, movie cases like CDs uh, or CDs and yeah. DVD cases. So all that, and that happened around Christmas. So we're, this is the catch all room when we have guests coming and the, take the, the crap out of the guest room that comes to the comes to the bonus room. So the goal is to get rid of this stuff. I don't need it. Uh, yeah, but you know, the, don't get rid of the pool table, even no, though no, no, obviously well, you haven't shot pool on that for a while, given the oh, fact man. that it's a slate storage uh, device. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. It's a flat space. My wife and I, we've talked about this before, I know. Flat space abusers. If there is a flat space anywhere in this house, we will cover it in no time. It just will be. It's a kitchen counter. It's an island in the kitchen. It's a coffee table in the den. We will cover it with something. And so it's just the simplifying. It's quite the challenge. There's, I could be, my day could be filled every day with, with decluttering and cleaning up. But that is a goal for me this year. I think that when I do get, for example, this bonus room cleaned up or have people over. In fact, that's a good strategy. Just invite somebody over every weekend. You'll keep your house clean. Um, I just feel I just feel better when you look around and, and things are neat and I'm neither Marianne nor I are neat nicks and that's not helpful. Neither one of us is a neat nick. <laughs> so it just comes to finally we just go, I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Um, well, you know, something we about no, no, your number 13, it says keep it simple. I'm used to that term with the word stupid afterwards. And the fact that I feel stupid every time I start to straighten stuff up. Uh, like for instance, uh, uh, smart TVs have become pretty ubiquitous uh, in these last couple of years. And uh, I had a, uh, my uh, a granddaughter and her uh, a boyfriend came over and were showing a trip they recently took to uh, Mexico. And it was really nice, they were really excited about it. Uh, but he was trying to figure out a way to hook his tablet up to my TV. And he came up with a thing, but it, along the way he says, by the way, do you have a Roku? And I got to declutter the Roku that's been sitting in my bedroom for probably five years. I haven't used it in four. <laughs> so I was able to declutter. So if you have a Roku, you might want to uh, get rid of it because uh, that's, a, that's a simplification <laughs> well, now that we sure. have the smart TVs. Absolutely. We've got smart TVs, one, and we've got the Amazon Cube. Don't need it. Right. Don't need it. You know, so donate that. So, again, it says that whole you, you reference really the, the keep it simple, stupid. I like keep it simple, smarty. That's actually the on the first page of that practice. Enough people will call me stupid. I don't need to be doing that myself. I try to keep it simple, smarty. I give myself a little credit sometimes. Number 13. That's it. I love it. Keep Thanks, Bill. it simple. Thank you, guys. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.